Whey protein is essential for building muscles, which is why millions of people around the world include it in their diets daily. Derived from cow's milk, whey is a byproduct of the cheese making process. A typical factory produces about 10,000 bottles of whey protein per day, undergoing several important steps from dairy farms to the factory floor before becoming high quality protein powder. But what are these steps and how is whey protein made? The history of whey is closely tied to cheese, as both come from milk. Early humans might have discovered whey protein by accident. In ancient times, farmers stored milk in containers made from animal stomachs. Rennet, an enzyme in the stomachs of herbivorous animals, caused the milk to coagulate, separating into curds and whey. However, whey didn't become popular until much later, as its health benefits were largely unknown. The process begins with the collection of milk from dairy farms, where cows are raised specifically for milk production. Farmers ensure their cows are healthy and well-fed, as their conditions directly impact milk production. These cows are milked twice a day, producing between 25 to 35 liters of milk daily. Robotic systems are often used to make the milking process more efficient. The collected milk is then transported to the processing facility in bulk tanker trucks, designed to maintain the milk's temperature and quality during transportation. Upon arrival, the milk undergoes quality testing for temperature, acidity, and contaminants. Milk that meets quality standards proceeds to the next step. Next is pasteurization, a crucial step for ensuring the safety of the milk and its products. There are two main methods of pasteurization. In high temperature short time, HTST, pasteurization, the milk is heated to around 161 degrees Fahrenheit, 72 degrees Celsius, for about 15 seconds, followed by rapid cooling. Alternatively, there is ultra-high temperature, UHT, pasteurization certainly. In ultra-high temperature, UHT, pasteurization, the milk is rapidly heated to a much higher temperature, usually around 280 degrees Fahrenheit, 138 degrees Celsius, for a very short time, typically 2 to 5 seconds. UHT treated milk can be stored for longer periods without refrigeration. After pasteurization, the milk is rapidly cooled to 4 degrees Celsius to prevent it from cooking, which could adversely affect its quality and inhibit microbial activity. The first step in the actual whey protein production is curdling the milk. This is typically achieved through the addition of rennet, an enzyme complex containing chymosin. Rennet helps coagulate the milk proteins, separating them into solid curds and liquid whey. This process takes place in huge industrial vats where mechanical stirrers and agitators ensure uniform mixing of the milk and added rennet. The coagulated milk is then separated into solid curds and liquid whey. The curds are used to make cheese, while the liquid whey contains water, lactose, minerals, and proteins. The separated whey undergoes pasteurization again to eliminate any remaining bacteria or microorganism. This helps ensure the safety and quality of the final whey protein product. Next, it's time to concentrate and isolate the protein in whey. The two main methods for this are membrane filtration and ion exchange technology. Membrane filtration is a cold temperature separation process that uses porous membranes. Due to their different pore sizes, these membranes can eliminate bacteria, remove fat from the whey, allow the passage of carbohydrates and minerals, and retain the whey proteins. Ion exchange, on the other hand, is a process that selectively isolates specific protein components. The raw whey is sent through a column that collects the proteins and separates them based on their net charge. The remaining lactose and minerals are washed away and further processed into different ingredients. Ion exchange allows for the selection of all functional and nutritional proteins in whey, including bioactive proteins. This includes proteins such as immunoglobulin and lactoferrin. The resulting whey protein, therefore, has less fat and lactose and offers complete solubility with a clean and neutral taste. Before membrane filtration and ion exchange processes were developed, Whey protein powders were insoluble, had a yellowish-brown color, and tasted unpleasant. It was only after these processes were invented that whey protein acquired the taste and appearance we are familiar with today. 
The concentrated whey is then subjected to drying processes to remove the remaining moisture and transform it into a powder form. In spray drying, the concentrated liquid whey is first fed into a chamber where it is atomized, meaning it is broken down into small droplets. This is typically achieved by spraying the liquid through a nozzle. The droplets are then introduced into a drying chamber, where hot air is simultaneously blown in, causing the water content in the droplets to evaporate rapidly. As the water evaporates, the remaining whey solids form tiny dry particles. These particles fall to the bottom of the chamber, and the dried powder is collected. The size of the powder particles can be controlled by adjusting various parameters in the drying process. The parameters of the spray drying process can be adjusted to control the size of the powder particles. The dried whey protein is then transferred to a mixing facility where it is weighed along with flavorings and sweeteners to enhance the taste and nutritional profile. Some whey proteins are also fortified with vitamins and minerals. The materials are then mixed in large rotating drums to ensure a consistent product that tastes the same throughout. For packaging, an operator introduces empty cans to a conveyor belt to start the filling process. An automatic filling machine precisely fills each can with the protein powder. This machine is connected to an intermediate bulk container IBC, that stores the final blend of the protein powder. After filling, each container undergoes a weight check to ensure correct packaging. Once filled, a labeling machine applies labels to each container, providing important information such as the product name, nutritional information, and usage instructions. A worker then places a plastic ring on the top of each container, which is heat sealed to ensure an airtight closure. The containers are stored in large totes, ready for distribution. Before the containers are shipped worldwide, a team of experts tests each batch to ensure quality standards are met. These experts conduct a taste test and compare it to the gold standard to ensure the taste, texture, and consistency are correct. If not, the batch is put on hold and sent back to blending so nothing is wasted. Today, the goal of major whey and performance nutrition companies is to offer better nutrition products for improved health and nutrition levels. Whey protein can now be found in products ranging from infant nutrition formulas to supplements for the elderly. If you're curious about how other products are made, be sure to check out our other videos.